Ever pondered the question, should I be a dividend investor or a real estate investor? Well, that's what we're about to delve into today. This is a hot topic and one that's certainly worth pondering over. And before we dive in, if you find this content valuable, do hit that like button and subscribe for more. First off, let's understand what dividend investing and real estate investing are. Dividend investing involves buying stocks of companies that regularly pay out dividends. These dividends, which are essentially a portion of the company's profits, provide a steady stream of income to the investors. On the other side of the coin, real estate investing involves purchasing property with the intention of earning a return on investment, either through rental income, the future resale of the property, or both. Each form of investment has its own unique set of advantages. With dividend investing, the first clear advantage is liquidity. Stocks are much easier to buy and sell compared to real estate. It's as simple as clicking a button. Also, dividend investing has lower entry costs. You can start investing with just a few dollars, whereas real estate investing often requires a significant amount of capital. Now let's turn our attention to real estate investing. One of the most significant benefits here is the ability to leverage your investment. In other words, you can buy a property with a small down payment and borrow the rest, thus potentially amplifying your returns. Plus, real estate can provide a steady cash flow through rental income, which can be a reliable and predictable source of income. However, like two sides of a coin, both these investment strategies come with their own set of disadvantages. Dividend investing can be risky, the stock market can be volatile, and a company's dividends can decrease or even disappear. There's also no guarantee of capital appreciation. You might buy a stock hoping it'll increase in value, but it could also decrease. On the other hand, real estate investing requires a significant amount of time and effort. It's not as simple as just buying a property and watching the money roll in. There are maintenance issues, tenant issues, and the ever-looming possibility of property market downturns to consider. In conclusion, both dividend and real estate investing have their own unique sets of pros and cons. Dividend investing offers liquidity and lower entry costs, but carries market volatility risks. Real estate investing provides the potential for leverage and steady cash flow, but requires more time and effort. So, which one should you choose? That depends on your personal financial goals, risk tolerance, and time commitment. Remember, the best investment strategy is one that aligns with your individual needs and circumstances. We hope you found this discussion enlightening. If you did, do like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful discussions. Until next time, keep questioning and keep investing wisely.